So yesterday was BET Award stroke this morning. And I want BET Award to make me understand one thing. How can you guys nominate an artist for seven awards? Seven, seven good awards, seven. For seven awards, different nominations. You nominated Bonner Boy for seven awards and you refused to give Bonner Boy just one award. Ah, which kind of uh, play play be that? You nominate an artist. You told an artist to submit his material. And you nominated it for several different categories. And you refuse to even hand one to him. If you had nominated it for just one or two, it's understandable not to even give him one award. But you nominated an artist for seven awards and not a single award he won. <laughs> Can somebody make me understand the amount of disrespect there? You allowed an artist to go through the tedious uh, requirement to submit his material. You, even, you are the one that will reach out to him, submit your material for consideration. For an award, he submitted his material, his team submitted it, everything, and then you nominated him for seven categories. Or to end up giving him none. Can someone make me understand that? Eh? Is it possible for someone to sit for several course in school and fail everything? <laughs> That's I don't be confirmed on Lodo. And Bonner Boy is not an Olodo. Bonner Boy is the biggest artist to come from Nigeria currently. He's the biggest. Currently. And you say our biggest artist wasn't able to win an award from the seven different categories. BET, you guys have started again. Maybe you guys need another whiskey to set you people in your place. Una de met. Una de Chris I be with Una Mumu. Una Mumu de worry you now. All the people who are nominating, who are there nominating rubbish. Una de Mumu. Una Chris de worry you now. You now met. Eh? Well, my deepest condolences to Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy Mom and team. Well, you guys deserve so much award, but uh, BET, uh, I don't know how they pick uh, how the award an artist, I don't know how, but it was rubbish. Well, I'm happy for one artist though, and that is Black Sheriff. Uh, Black Sheriff won Best International Flow at the BET Award Hip Hop uh, BET Hip Hop Award 2023. So big con congratulations to Black Sheriff. Of course, I F up. Who never F up and sing the A? Of course, I can't use the real word because of YouTube rules and regulations. Of course, I F up. Who never F up and sing the A? Honestly, YouTube have to start allowing us to express ourselves more. Abba now. Uh -uh. There are some uh, keywords, not that serious, that we, 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 that we should be using. Come on, man. Allow us to express ourselves. Hmm? Allow us to express ourselves. YouTube. Then let's go over to uh, Mubaz Dad. He had an interview recently, and he said Nigeria to forgive him. <laughs> So, in this interview, he, he, he talked about the reason why he had to bury Mubad so quickly. The reason why he had to bury Mubad so quickly, because, you know, one of my uh, my pain in my heart towards Mubad's father is that, how can you say your, side, your child died? You went to carry the body. Eh? You went to carry the body. And you are going straight to the burial ground to bury him at night. Your village people, your community have to stop you to bury him next day. Child! You're a wicked man. But 
Let's hear what he has to say. According to the translation, because he was speaking Yoruba, he said, Mobad has been dead since Tiri OOPM. That means after afternoon, that two afternoon time, 3 p.m. And he was told, and I and he was told late. And he eventually got there by 10 30. He got there at, uh, at night when he was told the bam was bad there by 3 p.m. He got there as at night, 10 30. He got there and he met a lot of people. Money. He was then carried to the police for a police report. But there was a delay for about three hours. He got there at 10.30 and there was a delay for three hours. 10.30, 11, 12, 1. That means he, he, he left there about 1.30. They delayed him till 1.30 early in the morning. Everywhere is still very dark. 1.30 a.m. Okay, I want to be following the talk. So he had to take him to the mortuary, but then he couldn't be taken in because they have not cleared police report at all. So he took Mobad's body to the mortuary since it's late, but the mortuary couldn't take Mobad because they do not have police report. And he couldn't just carry Mobad home like that. So he had to go bury him. Besides, he was a young man, and according to custom, he should be buried fast. He apologizes to Nigerians, reminding us that he couldn't even love his child more than he did. He has never met Sam Larry before. He said, he asked for an apology. He explained the reason why he wanted to bury Mubad that night. He said, according to their custom, Mubad was young. And they do not, they know they keep that kind of body. They don't keep such body at home. He couldn't take Mubad body home. And the mortuary said they must have police report. So he was confused where to carry Mubad to. And he said he hasn't met Sam Larry before. After the issue with NDLE, he said he went to Naramali place to intervene. When he got there, Mubad was eating and Naramali came to him and ate out of his food. He told his son that Naramali actually loved him, but it seems he wasn't good to his boss. But Mubad made it clear to him that Naramali is evil. Mubad told his father that is evil, but he didn't believe him. He had to prostrate to Ben Nara, Nara for Mobad's words, saying he is dead. He was killed by Naramali. As an elderly, as an elderly, he just had to do it. But after he left, he was called that Mobad has been beaten, and when he came, he saw wounds over him. He and Bella called lawyer, but nothing came out of it. He came to Mubad's house. He came to Naramali house, and he saw Mubad eating. He said, he told his Mubad, see, Mubad, it seems like Naramali is a good person. It seems like you are the bad person here. What is wrong? Then Mubad told him, Naramali is evil. He's pretending. Then he went to Mubad. To Naramali to apologize to Naramali. To apologize to Naramali. He prostrated and he left and begged my Naramali. Then after he left, he was called back that they were beating Mubad. And when he came there, he saw wounds all over Mubad's body. He called Bella's mother, they called the lawyer, and nothing was done about it. Then he also said, Naramali has been, so he also said, Mubad has been harassed a lot of times when he went to shows. So he decided to call him so they could go to the king to help them settle the matter. But they later weren't able to do so. 
After a bad calling is is spirit for revenge, he can't do that for he's a man of God concerning DNA tests. They can do it for Nigerians to know what he's saying. He said they can't call his son's spirit for revenge because he's a man of God. He can't do that. But concerning the DNA test, I, he said he would like the DNA test to be carried out for a lot of Nigeria to see. So I, I still don't understand that why. That why matter that nobody still talk about. Do why? Mobad passed away. Thierry P.M. What was the wife doing? So let us say the father was how when you marry a man, eh, they don't actually ask for a father uh, uh, paper, uh, statement, or hospital uh, police statement. The father is far away. You are the wife. You write a statement and put your husband in the mortuary. You were waiting for the father to call. See, that, that uh, Mubarak wife uh, made the answer question. No? They are not interrogating her. Well. They should ask her question. Uh -uh. Where is she in this whole matter? She is not even involved. In this whole matter, no one is talking about her. The police are not even talking about her. You fair allowed someone to call her ordinary quack nose to your husband. After that, you left your husband, allow your husband father to call from afar to come and be fighting out to put your husband in the mortuary. Uh -uh. What is happening here? You guys do not understand. Well, the matter, you see, we are still well, uh, watching you guys and. Uh, let us just keep quiet. <laughs> if they want to put the thing for prime boy and speedy and the opposite, because where is the wife in between? Where is the wife in between? How can you marry a woman who doesn't have you in his inner heart? Huh? Boys, no, not wise, though. You're not wise. 